moments. Monumental. Events. Evergreen. Words. Worth hearing. Chris. Oh, glory to God! <laughs> what he has made us. Sonda Karabadiga style. So what does he tell us? Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1. You like this one. It's so, it's so beautiful. Because, you see, we have the nature. We can do what we're going to see now. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1. He says, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. That means as beloved children. Now, the word followers in the King James is not uh, very well rendered because the Greek word is mimetis. Mimetis means um, imitators. Did you get that? Imitators. That's mimetis. It doesn't mean following like, you know, going after somebody. It means copying someone, following how he does what he does. That's why the King James says followers. It's mimetis from the Greek. It means imitators. So he says, be ye therefore imitators of God. Copy him. Act like him. Talk like him. Do like him. Why? Because you are like him. You say, Pastor Chris, isn't that going too far when we say we are like him? Okay. First John chapter 4, verse 17. First John chapter 4, verse 17. Ha, ha, ha. Herein, I like this. Herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is, so are we in this world. You see why we rejoice when we come to church some people don't understand it why are we so joyful why are we so full of life now you can understand why he says hearing is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment you know every time you talk about the day of judgment some people are afraid and some people are happy those who are afraid are those who are out of the way they, have, they don't know what to do. They don't know whether they have a good relationship with God. They are thinking about all the wrong things they've ever done. But we, he says, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. We have boldness. Hallelujah. Why? He says, because as he is, so are we. Yes. Notice, he didn't say, so shall we be when we get to heaven. Where? Me. In this world. In this world. Did you notice when I came in here, I thought about the sick and I prayed for the sick. Why? Because I'm just like Jesus. Jesus loved to heal the sick. Yes. We are full of love. We are full of compassion. That's the way we are. We don't merely talk love. We act it. We do it. We live it. Because Jesus is that way. He says, be ye imitators of God as beloved children and walk in love. As Christ also had loved you. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus loved God. Jesus expressed to others that he loved his Father. And that's the way we are. We express it. We show to the world we love our Father. We worship him. We talk about him boldly. Those who are ashamed of him don't know him. If you are ashamed of Jesus, you don't know him. That's why you're ashamed of him. Because you don't know him. He owns the world. He created the world. 
Can I show you something about Jesus? Colossians chapter 1 verse 19. You would like this one. Colossians chapter 1 verse 19. Just, just show you something about Jesus. Who is this man? Jesus. For, <laughs> for it pleased the Father that in him, Jesus, in him should all fullness dwell. Do you know what that means? The fullness of deity dwells in Jesus Christ. Jesus is the totality of divinity. Jesus Christ. So you shouldn't be ashamed of him. It pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. The fullness of the Godhead lives in Jesus. Colossians chapter 2. Start from verse 9. Look at it. For in him dwelleth, 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 not visited, dwelleth. All the fullness of the Godhead bodily. In other words, if you want to see God in a body, you turn to Jesus. For in him dwelleth all the fullness, all the fullness of the Godhead bodily in Jesus Christ. We're talking, who's Jesus? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He was not a, a religious leader. He didn't come to start a religion. Let's see where Jesus came from. St. John's Gospel, chapter 1. From verse 1. Let's see something. You'd like this. St. John, chapter 1. From verse 1. In the beginning was the Word. <laughs> the Word. It's Logos. The Logos of God. The Word. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. Let's see. Go to verse 2. The same was in the beginning with God. Verse 3. All things were made by him. Stop. He's talking about the word. I thought he should say all things were made by it. But he said him. He gives personality to the word. Let's go on. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. Verse 4. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. <laughs> Verse 5, and the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Verse 6, he says, there was a man sent from God whose name was John. Stop there. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. So you mean God actually sent somebody? I told you last night, God sent me here to you. <laughs> Hallelujah. And that's why I brought you the word of God. So if you want to know, does God send anybody? It's there. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. And tonight, there is a man sent from God and his name is Pastor Chris to you tonight. To you tonight. Verse 7. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. Verse 8. He was not that light. John was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. Verse 9. <laughs> that was the true light. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the true light which lighted every man that cometh into the world. Verse 10. He was in the world, and the world was made by him. And the world knew him not. Stop. 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 Don't let that happen to you. It already happened to some folk. Jesus was in the world. Let's, let's put it this way. He has not mentioned who he is yet. He says the word. The word of God. He says he was in the world. 
And the world was made by him. And the world knew him not. Verse 11. He came unto his own. And his own received him not. Verse 12. But as many as received him to them. received here some of you received him yesterday night some are going to receive him tonight as many as received him to them he gave power to become did you notice did you notice he didn't say they tried to become he gave them power to become power to become if you receive him tonight he will give you power to become look at it again but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. That's all you need. Believe only. That's all you need. Verse 13. Watch this now. Which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. I. This verse, this verse 13, I wish I could stay with you for a whole month <laughs> to share with you the deep truths in this verse 13. It's so powerful. He says, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Hey, <laughs> Go to verse 14. <laughs> and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Shout amen, somebody! So who is Jesus? Jesus, the Word of God, made flesh. The Word was made flesh. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. That's where Jesus came from. You know, some people thought that Jesus was walking around in heaven like a little boy running around. And the Father said, come here, come here, come here, son. I want to send you downstairs. I want you to go to the world down there and die for them. No, that's not what happened. The Bible says he was in the bosom of the Father. In other words, he was never a separate personality from God. No, he was the Word of God. Are you hearing this? When God spoke and said, let there be light. That same Word that created the world became Jesus. That's why he and his Father are one. He is the Word of the Father. The Bible says the voice of God came walking in the garden. The voice of God came walking in the garden. In the days of Adam and Eve, they didn't see a form. They only heard a voice. The voice of God came walking. That same voice said, Adam, where art thou? The voice of God. What is voice but words? That voice became flesh. Ah! And dwelt among us. He says, and we beheld his glory. Glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And that's why. The Bible says being born again. He's talking about us now. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. If you are born again, you are born of the incorruptible word of God, the incorruptible seed. 
So you have the same life with Jesus Christ, being born again. You are born of the Word. Are you hearing me? You have the life of the Word in you. You are indestructible. Can you shout amen, somebody? Hallelujah. On Sunday when you go to church, go with boldness, go with joy, go with confidence because you are a child of God. Hallelujah. Go into the church with joy because you are a child of God. Ay, 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 ay. I feel this thing all over me tonight. Go in of God. Mama, mama. Are you still there? No wonder we are more than conquerors. We are victors in this life. It doesn't matter what you're going through. If you understand this word, happy are you. something he is more than a believer he believes to have he believes to have he believes to have so I am a haver I'm more than a believer I have something I have the life of God in me I have the nature of God in me Christ is in me Christ is in me Christ is in me Christ is in me. Christ is in me. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey. Hallelujah. You know what? If you got trouble with your legs, it's time to say in the name of Jesus, leg, you are here. You are here. Talk to your body now. It's time. 